so. So our next word is Congo. Do you happen to know what Congo means? Congo. Congo. Now, followed by after. Hi. Congo. I, I don't know what this means. Makes logical sense. It's it's a it's a very um it's hard to guess. So what it means is basically starting now and the time after. So the time after is the future. Because in Japanese, mae, which is the front, refers to the past. So ato refers to the future. So kongo means from now on. Now and into the future. Yeah, you, it's not a common word. So, I mean, not <laughs> a lot of stuff I read. Okay. Do you happen to know what the volational form of suru is? Suru. Hi. Which is an English uh, Volitional form of suru is shiro. Uh, yes, shio. Shio. Oh, shio. Hi. Shio. That's, let's do it. Uh, what does kongo mean? From here on out. Perfect. Okay. It so almost let's go. like kakara. So, um, so let's go... Um, Read the line from the book now. きょうはもこのくらいにしようあ、な、なが旅で疲れているし今後のこともも考えね all right, so my hint is that he's kind of talking about the fact he's 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 ending his diary entry. Nebara she it's to it's to end that diary. No, that's the context. Um Kangai Nuba Naranansi is um not kereba naranai. So this is I must kangai. And the she's here are both um, used for the mean and in a this is reasons for. So these are reasons why mo kono kurai ni shio. So, do you know what kurai means? Kurai is um, roughly about. Yeah. So about this much already. Let's do it. So it's like, okay, let's make it this about, let's make it that this is already the amount is what that's like would literally be. And it basically means this will be where I'm ending the diary for today. So he's like, that, that's, that, that, this is how much I will write, basically. It's the context. Because is referring to the tax of writing and it's already. So already this amount, let's have it be done, basically. So let's... Let's have today this already be done for today. So for today, this is already to be done. And then he has reasons why he should, the, he should end the diary. First off, Nagatabi de tsukareteru. What does that mean? Nagatabi de tsukareteru. From a long journey, uh, you are. You must be tired. You are tired from a long journey. Who is he talking she, to? What's our full context right now? Someone is talking to Neburi, right? Good guess, but we're actually reading Neburi's diary. Uh, We've been in this diary for a while. So what he's doing is writing, so for today, this will be it. Um, I'm tired and blah, blah, blah. So he, he's ending his diary entry for today. I see. So he's saying Kiowa for today. Mo kono mo kono gurai ni shio. Uh this much I've done already. Hi. Right. Roughly this yeah. much. Um na na naga naga tabi de sukamara de tired from a long journey. Kongo no koto mo 
kanga in it. I must um kotomo. I must think about this. Hi. I must also think about this. And what is I, the I, I need some time. From from now, the Hi. thing uh, what I need to do from now, I need to think about. I must. Yeah. I need to think about uh, what uh, will be happening from now on. Kongo no koto. So things from now on. As well, I must think about, must be thinking. So I must ponder on the things from here on out. So that this is how he's ending his diary, basically. Um, so this right here is diary in Japanese. Nikki. So this is a Hi, ni Nikki with a little glottal stop. Nikki. Causative form. What is the causative form of nusumu, which means to steal? Causative of nusumu. Uh, so we go on aseru. Nusumaseru. Hi. Nusumaseru. So in Japanese, rather than causative form, meaning what you would normally assume, which is to make somebody do something, you can add um, morao or kuredu. To kind of mean like you allowed me to do this. Um, could it do would be like thanks you allowed me to do this. And morao is kind of like ha ha. I did this without you knowing. I received you allowing me to do this. Kind <laughs> kind of gives off that kind of feeling. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Niki o nusumasete moratta. Right. Um, we're saying that it's um. I was able to grab the diary. Hi, that's probably how we would say it in English. Basically, I was able to steal the diary, but literally, it's you allowed me to receive the diary via um stealing. Would be like a literal way to kind of translate this whole idea. We would never say that in English. So it'd be like, haha, I stole the diary would be kind of the closest. Oh, I stole it. But it's like, you allowed me to receive this diary via stealing it. Because <laughs> uh, what I was to receive, but a lot of times it's used in a, I took it for myself kind of way. If it's in the first person to uh, someone else. Okay. Our next word is jo. Jo means lock. Sometimes this lock. can be pronounced, I think, as kagi, which is key, but lock is what it is in this context. Jo. Jo. Do you know what, do you know what akeru means? Akeru. Uh, this akeru is to close. Kurkes. That's tojiru. Very similar kanji. Tojiru. So both of them have gates. Akeru is the opposite. Akeru is to open. Akeru is to open. Hi. And it is a do verb. Akeru, akita. Um, nice. What's this word right here? Did we see this earlier? Jo. Hmm. Uh, Hi, Jo. What does Jo mean? Jo mean is a lock. Perfect. Nice. Can you read this for me? Jo o ageta. Hi. What does this mean? I opened the lock. Nice. And so causative form for do verbs is a little bit different than with u verbs. What we do is that we drop the do and we add saseru. So tabedu becomes tabe saseru. How do you put akeru to open into causative form? To open into causative form. Um, saseru. Saseru. Is the root verb. So, age saseru. Hi, age saseru. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Niki no jo o age sasete moratta. Hi. What does this mean? I receive, I was allowed to receive by means of opening the lock. 
Of the what? Of your diary. Perfect. Nice. I was able, or I was, I was permitted to open the lock of your diary. Basically is what it's saying, but it doesn't actually mean he was necessarily allowed since the Morao was there. <laughs> so if could it do this here, that would uh, fully be allowing. But Morao in the first person kind of insinuates you, you, you decided on your own that you were going to be allowed to do this. Like you cut the knee decided. So like I allowed myself almost. <laughs> what what out if it's in the first person specifically if if it's in like a third I person will... then it's different but yeah I... it's <laughs> it's the willfulness it's the intentionality here so, so. i willfully open the lock. exactly um what's akeru into causative form ake saseru hi and let's go read the last part of this Chapter one. Perfect. So these little quotation marks are here because nobody didn't write this in his diary. Khan did. Yori is how you say from. So the previous line we saw is like, okay. This is how I'm ending my diary. I'm tired and I want to go to bed, basically, right? It's like, I'm, it's like, I'm tired from my journey. I got to go think about stuff. So right after that, right. we have Khan at some point. This is uh, way off in the future. Uh, Khan currently cannot read. Um, so he would not have done that right now. But basically he went, ooh, Nippity. And he wrote like a note inside Nippity's, um diary. So from me. So what did Khan write inside of Nebody's diary? Um, he write addressing Nebody. He said, Nebody, I I opened your the lock of your diary. Yep, exactly. I opened the lock of your diary and I willfully did it. You, you, basically, I, you, you should have tried harder if you didn't want me to open it. <laughs> um, how do you read this word? Um, Nagatabi. Perfect, Nagatabi. And you have officially read a full chapter of this manga. I mean, this this novel. That was chapter one. Oh Woo! my goodness! Whole chapter. <laughs> oh my goodness! I know. Chapter Woo! one. Ah, uh, <sighs> you went through this fast. Okay, so now we're starting chapter two. Okay, when you can see it. Ria, can you read this for me? Um, one moment. Here, I, I see. Uh, mega sameru. Hi. This means I to. My eyes. Yep. Perfect. So now you have to remember sameru. Which? What does sameru mean? Wait, never mind. Sameru. <laughs> read the next sentence. Up, to yep. To wake up. Yakuni tatta nai meshi sky wa mega. Mega uh, Sameta, the useless servant, open his eyes. Perfect. Wake up, basically. Do you happen to know this up. kanji? Asa, morning. Hi, asa, morning. Perfect. Our next word, kedu, means to kick. What? How do you read this word right here? Uh, yoku asa. Hi, yoku asa. This is the next morning, Yokuasa. Can you read the this word morning. for me? Ketobi basu. Yeah, ketobasu. Ketobasu. Hi. So ketobasu is ketobasu. to kick and send something fi flying, basically. The send out a kick. Ketobasu. So you kick. Um, uh -huh. you, you let a kick a kick fly. You you kick out basically. Hi. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Um, ehe tai. Right? Yeah. Wa dorobo o kedo basta. The guard give out a kick at the thief. Hi. Specifically the group of guards. So there's a whole bunch of them doing this. <laughs> Poor thief. Oh, my. Okay. Hi, group. group. Of so, hey, hey, 
A Hey is one guard. A Hey Tai is group of guards. A Hey Tai. Hi. The whole regiment, basically. Soul, soul. <laughs> Um, what does this word start with? It meant the next day. Uh, yoku hai. Asa. Yep. Yoku asa. Perfect. What is the passive yoku. form of ketobasu? Passive is reru. Reru. Ketobasu. Ketobasareru. Hi, yes. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Yes. Passive is adedu. Nice. Okay. Let's go read this line from the book. Yoku. Yoku. Oh my goodness. So this right here is G2, but I was supposed to write Yoku Asa the next morning. So I wanna Yoku Yoku Nichi. Uh, Yoku Jitsu Yoku. would be the next day, but Yoku Asa is the next morning. Hi. Yoku Asa Yogoreta uh, Kozo wa Mega uh, Mega Sameta. Hi. So the dirty boy woke up the next morning. Perfect. Phew, was worried about him. <laughs> eh, oh. Can you read the sentence for me? Uh, he he got it no kimi ni ketobaseta. So you said he uh, got it. But it's not got it. Do you know what it is? He um he good it. Hi, perfect. Higure no kimi ni ketobaseta, ketobasareta. Hai. Ketobasareta, the causative of ketobasu. Passive. A passive. Hai. So causative has the de and um causative has the se. Hai. And we say that. Ketobasu was the to verb kick. that means to kick. So um, he was kicked by the Lord of the, Lord of the Evening. Yep. Nice. Okay. So let's go read our line from the text. So remember, we're no longer in the diary. We're now in the normal book. So the main character is Khan. So everything's from his point of view. Yoku asa wa neburi ni ketobasarete mega sameta. The next morning, uh, neburi gave a kick to um, neburi gave a kick and con uh, and uh, and I woke up. Hi. So I got this a means kick nebody, nebody kicked him, yeah, because it's causative form. So I was kicked by nebody, right? So that's why knee is here for by for passive Hi. form. Sorry, passive, not positive. So I was kicked. Ketobasareta. Hi. Um, our next is this word, which is mato. We might have seen this before, but this means to put on, specifically like a cloak-like item. Mato. Okay. Mato. Can you read this for me? Neburi wa machutsu shi no skuru. Good guess. This is actually kiru. It does look like tsuku, which is to arrive. Tsuku. Right here. I can see. Um, I think it's at, it might be the same kanji. Crazy. No relationship so, and meaning. Uh, so this is Kiru. Kiru. Uh, hai iro no ropu o mato te ita. Hai. What is the mato te ita? One more this time. This is only. to be wearing something, specifically a cloak like item. 
m a t o d e ita. I'm guessing it's like matoru. Hi. Uh, mato. 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 Ah, to wear a cape like item. So that's why it's being used with robe. Robe. So, nebri. He, kiru mean to wear, right? Hai. To wear something. Yeah, the, is a um, generic wearing word. So it ended with the dictionary form. So does that mean that that is a complete sentence there? Um, This is in dictionary a... form. So we know this is a clause for hairo. So is that modifying Hyrule? Okay, so right now I'm going to erase some text here. What does this say? Nebri wa robo matotte ita. It said nebri is wearing a robe. Yes. Now we have described this robe with the word hairo. What kind of robe is he wearing? Nebri is wearing a gray robe. Hai. Now, this robe is also described as majuchishi no kiru robe. Ah, uh, so is a, is a, is a robe that wear by mag magicians? Yes, robes worn by magicians might be how we translate that to English. So this is confusing simply because Japanese doesn't really do that pluralizing thing like we do in English. So contextually, this is basically saying he's specifically wearing robes that are gray and they're the same kind of robes that magicians wear because Khan's not wearing a robe and he's not wearing a robe because he's not a magician. It's kind of what this is telling us. So nobody's wearing, in other words, magician wore a magician. Uh, so robes. funny. So when a verb, when a verb is modifying the noun that follows it and the nouns here is basically hairo. Hai. Then it takes the it takes the dictionary form, right? Instead yeah. of specifically, instead it of takes short form. form. It it takes short form. So this, so you've seen relative clause quite a few times in here. Um, it takes short form. Short form is dictionary form. It is also ta form, and it is also ni form, which is negative form. These are all short so form. In this particular instant, why is it not ta like how we usually see so it in, in the in So that is making it very obvious in Japanese that we're talking about magicians in general because dictionary form is future tense and dictionary form is also um habitual. So this is saying um magicians that habitually wear um robes. To mean that he's wearing magician's robes. If it was kita, that would mean that he that that would almost make it sound like the magician we're referring to is nebody. Like nebody, the magician is wearing robes, is kind of what that would insinuate because of the tense. Hi. So that is to wear, basically. W will wear, or something like that. But it's saying right here that nebody is wearing a robe. And his robe is the kind of robe that magicians wear. I understand. Hi. Hi. Um, Thank you. Okay, gotta get my fan back on. Sasu. Hi. Do you know what sasu means? To point. Yes, to point. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Ma jutsu shi wa dorobo o satte sasita. Hi, this actually isn't satte. This means cane. Do you know what uh, cane is in Japanese? Yes, we came across it. Uh, sune. Close to it. Sue. Hi. Sue de sasita. Using the cane, the magician points at the thief. Perfect. Nice. And can you read this word right up here? Nido. Hi. Next perfect. time. Second time. Yep. Second time. Our next word is karuku. This is light. Karuku. karuku. Uh, not like the color, but like the weight. <laughs> like a light touch. Karuku. 
How do you read this word? Ichido. Perfect. One time. Nice. And how is this kanji read? This kanji is... Um... Sorry, I lost it again. Um... It meant light. So it's karuku. 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 Okay, can you read the sentence for me? Mo ichiro karuku ketto bashita. Mo ichiro karuku ketto bashita. So one more time. Yet one more time. Uh, a light, what? A light kick. Hi. Kedo basta. Gave Perfect. a light kick. Yep. So once more, he lightly kicked somebody. They lightly kick. I like Hi. That. Our next word is tarai. This is like, um, like a bucket type of thing. As you see in the kanji, we have water, then we have a plate, and then we kind of like put the plate I mean, put put the water like in a like a bucket thing. It's like a wash basin. Bait, bait. I don't know how that word is pronounced, but Hi. you you put water in here. <laughs> the tarai. Uh, could you read this for me? Table no ue no tarai o tsuede sasita. And we say that sasita was um. From sasit. To point. Hi. To point. Uh, using the cane, uh, he pointed at the um, tarai, the bucket on top of the table. Hi. Uh, specifically, uh, I looked at the, how to say the word. Is it wash bowl or tub or wash basin worked? It's not a tub in here, so wash bowl. Or if you could say basin. I see. Wash would be more right. Basically, so. wake yourself up, Khan. Go wash your, your face or something. Basically. <laughs> I, so yeah, he points at the wash basin on top of the table. Okay. Do you remember how to read this word? Say. Yep, set. From, which means back. Next is no basu. Back. No basu is to stretch something. Can you read this for me? No basu. Say suji. Yes, this means spine. Suji um can be used to mean kind of like line of something, like a line. Um, not like a line not... you draw, but like line in nature tends to be where where suji shows up. Like for example, if something flew really fast in the sky and it leaves that little like cloud trail, that'd be a suji. Um, so yeah. So se suji would be spine, the back line. Can you read this for me? Hi. Uh, he gure no kimi wa se suji o no bashita. Hi. To stretch the spine, the the evening lord stretches his spine. Hi. Yep. So in this context. It probably means he straightened it out. It is literally he stretched it. But I'm just like letting you know like what the picture. So rather than doing like a full arms out stretch, it's more like, you know, you're sitting straight because that's like you're stretching up kind of. Hi. He, he's he's still he's um straining himself up as, a, so, so. as opposed to slouching. Or something. Exactly. Okay. What is the imperative form of okiru? That's like you better wake up. Okiru imperative. Okiro. Hi, okiro. Perfect. Okay, so here is our last line of the day. Can you read it for me? Hi. Se suji o binto no bashite. Tatta mama mo ichido ore o kura. Kurakuru? Close. Kuroku? Uh, karuku. Karuku. Ke to basuto. 
小僧起きる起きろ。遠いてテーブルの上のたらいを据えでき、据えでき、でさす。はい。あ、um, そ、so, ビント。Um, can I get some help with the bin? So, pin, pin is a sound effect.、Um, so, you could kind of guess by context, it has to do with how he's stretching himself. So, pin、um, in this context is basically like saying he's straightening himself out. So, pin、um, can mean tight,、pin. I guess. Or、um, erectly. Uh, but basically,、pin. just saying his back is straight with pin. Pinto no base. So he stretches so his back is straight. Pinto no base. He strained his back, his spine. Hai. Tatta mama.、Uh, standing up. Hai. So while standing up, what does he do? Tatta mama. Because mama、up. means state is unchanged. Hai. As he, as he was standing, Mo Ichido Oreo, one more time, he lightly, he kuroke, he kuroku, ketobas, he lightly kicked me. Hi, and, and then immediately after, Kozo, Okiro, boy, wake up. Um, And then he tebru no ue no tarai o sue desasu. He used the cane and point at the wash, the, ba- the wash basin on top of the table. Perfect. Nice. Awesome. So, this right here theoretically is another example of a relative clause, the tata mama. Mama is a noun, meaning the present state, and it's being described as a present state of standing, but it is, has been stand.、Um, I guess that's the only example in this specific page. Oh, cool. We're at the reread section.、Um, how do you read this word right here?、Uh, kiru. Yep, kiru to where? How about this guy? Mega. Sameta. Oh, and one more. What's this guy over there? Uh, Yoku Asa. Hi, perfect. Yoku Asa. The next day. 